Retsy. Um, we've started renovating what we, you know, the current Retsy. Okay. Uh, some of the things in that B wing, which is, uh, if anybody's been at Retsy, that's where like Mr. LeBlanc was, and Ms. Coates was. And, and, uh, so we've added a new two dimensional art room, which is like the painting, your graphics, and that. The new video production suite is being worked on. The equipment and all that will have to come in over the summer for next school year. We did add two new classrooms um, on that west side of the wing, and also there is a new robotics lab, which was put in. Upstairs, we've got is mostly science labs, so those have been updated. We did actually add an additional new science lab up there in what was Mrs. Gardner's uh, computer lab in the past. The part that's the new additions, there's been foundation work and, and the walls are up for the new academic wing, which is going to house, you know, classrooms on two levels. What's going to be the new office, the common space, the, the gymnasium, and, and the uh, auditorium. Again, all those are up. They're hoping to get it all like roofs on and walls up before the snow flies so that way they can get in there and work all winter on this. So that's moving along. Everything's on schedule and we're still scheduled to be open uh, in the fall of 2019 next year. So. This current building, Romeo High School, will become the new middle school. Okay, so Romeo Middle School and Powell Middle School in a few years are going to join here at the high school, you know, this is a high school. And just so everybody knows, the new building we're, we're building over at Retsy will be called Romeo High School. So over at Barnabo, we have um, several renovations that have already been done. Uh, so over the past two years, you know, there's been a new field there, so now we've got the, the artificial turf on there. The, the stands were extended. Uh, we've got new fencing around there. We've got the new entrance, um, the new concession stand, of course, just opened up this year with our first home game a couple weeks ago. Um, so that's great, it's a bigger because I just have more bathrooms and all that, which is fantastic. There is a still a bit of work out front, like where the, um, the parking is gonna be. Um, you know, gonna be done over the next year, should be ready for the next school year to start uh, next year. All right, so the concept behind the academies is basically to add relevancy back into education. Like as a student, even when I was in high school, it was always, why do I need to learn this? You know, how do I apply this to the real world? Like, you know, where is it gonna benefit me? So the idea behind the academies is to try and bring that relevancy back into it. Business owners, you know, people from our community, people from colleges, you know, they can talk to the students and say, you know, this is my story, how I became what I am. Every 10th grader, we're gonna to try to get to some industry visit, college visit. Uh, every 11th grader, we hope to get out into a job shadow. Every 12th grader, an internship. And again, while all that's going on, um, all of their core classes, the normal curriculum, is all taught through kind of the lens or the theme of their academy. The question that we get a lot is, how do you expect a 14-year-old to pick what they want to be when they grow up when they're 14? And the, uh, the short answer is we don't. Uh, but what we want to do is help them to make a better choice. Um, you probably know someone, I know lots of kids who have gone off to school and they spend a year in school and realize, I don't want to do this. So we're hoping that this helps them explore, helps them you know, have more direction. So we're hopefully gonna you know, give more opportunities to all students. And that's the, the push behind the academy model. So the vision of the ninth grade academy is to shrink down their learning environment. Um, research has said that over time they struggle with academics, attendance, behavior. Um, so by establishing a smaller learning environment, we're able to keep track of them better. That 150 or so freshmen is broken down into three different smaller academies, um, and each of those academies has the same four core teachers for their core classes. So. The teachers get to know the students better, the students get to know each other within their academy, and they have some ideas of maybe where they want to go. The only difference is they're cohorted together. So the same 150 kids share math, science, English, and social studies teachers. Um, so really the environment isn't very different other than they share the same core teachers.